Hello, this is Jeff at Fedora Coffee Works again. Um, thought I'd make a quick video on just some of my thoughts on uh, on uh, why you should roast your own coffee. It's a good question. So, for anybody new out there to roasting, uh, curious about coffee, want to learn something, thought I'd just put this together. This is all from my own experience, uh, as any of my videos are, uh, and feel free to make any comments as as I go. So why roast your own coffee? All right, so what I did was, in my own terms, I have categorized old roast versus fresh roast. Old roast coffee is something that I would consider roasted months ago. It's old, stale, and dead. And these are the coffees you find at the grocery store. Um, when you start roasting your own coffee, this particular aspect will be the first thing that you notice in the old roast coffee is that it is old, stale, and dead. And what do I mean by that? Well, with old roast coffee, you get a lot of flat aromatics. If you do pour over brewing, there's not really going to be much of a bloom when you go to pour the water over the coffee grounds. And the coffee's not as smooth. And there's been a lot of studies out there on coffee, if it's good for you or not. Well, all those, co all those studies on whether coffee's good for you or not, were all done, to what I can tell, using old roast. Again, roasted months ago. It's just old, stale, and dead. Found at the grocery store. Another aspect of some of those coffees is... Um, I know that some of the companies out there use nitrogen flushing. Now, it's probably fine, but I personally don't want nitrogen flushing and nitrogen around my coffee beans. If you roast at home, you're never going to have to worry about that. Uh, also, they'll use valves in their bags to let the air escape. Well, you're letting air escape, but you're also letting the aromatics escape, which when you home roast, the aromatics are 100 times more than the old roast coffee. Which brings us into uh, comparing old roast now over to fresh roast. Fresh roast coffee, just the greatest thing known to man in my opinion. <laughs> uh, which is probably debatable uh, with some people as far as the greatest thing known to man. But fresh roast coffee is unbelievable. It's like nothing you've ever experienced if you're a coffee drinker and you're used to the old roast. Once you go to fresh roast, there's no going back to the old. I'm telling you. It's a completely different beast. These two are hardly even comparable. And I'm only outlining this with these little note cards. Once you get at it and you roast your own coffee, you will know what I'm talking about. So fresh roast is anything that I personally would consider ro anything roasted in the past seven days. I roast every couple of days, three days maybe. Uh, and my coffee is always fresh, and the thing you'll notice with the fresh roast is that the aromatics are absolutely blooming in, in full vigor. Uh, you're going to get full flavor. The coffee itself is going to be invigorating. And my guess is, and I don't know any studies, but uh, it might be more healthy. So fresh roasted coffee, do a study on that, and we'll see if that's healthier than the old roast which a lot of people complain about their guts on that old roast coffee, which is old, stale, and dead. So fresh roast coffee, it's invigorating. It's going to get you up in the morning, you roast the night before. You grind those beans, and those aromatics are going to absolutely blow your mind. You'll never go back to the old roast. When I was talking about blooming on the pour-over, if you do pour-over coffee with fresh roast coffee, you will notice you will get an, a volcanic bloom with the pour over brewing method. It's, it's going to be substantially, substantially uh, uh, different than this old roast, stale, dead coffee. You're going to get better espresso. The coffee is going to be smoother. You're going to get more flavor. It's absolutely going to blow your mind. So that is just a real quick lowdown. Old roast versus fresh roast. Roasting your own at home. 
And also, what I kind of like to compare it to every once in a while, I've heard other people kind of compare this, compare these two, but it's exa it's dead on. So you have the coffee versus bread comparison when it comes to coffee. Uh, if you have a bakery near you and they're baking bread that day, you go in there, the bread smells absolutely unbelievable. You let that co you let that uh, bread sit out for a week or more, and what happens to it? All that, all that, uh, that the environment gets to it, breaks it down, causes it to be old, stale, and dead. You don't buy stale, dead bread. And you shouldn't be drinking old roast. You should be drinking fresh roast. It's the only way to go. Once you go fresh, you, you can't go back. I've heard many times people say that, you know, I've had the fresh roast coffee. I tried to go back. And get something off the shelf. And it was just not even drinkable. So that's my input there. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm sure there's other people out there fresh roasting at home. Who would probably agree with this little tiny lineup I have going on here. Again, I could probably talk about this for an hour. But I just wanted to make a short video for uh, anybody following along on my channel. Uh, any questions in the roasting process? Anything I can help out with? Let me know. Uh, uh, I roast pretty often. I'm always looking at new beans, getting new beans in, and uh, enjoying probably the, no, not probably, but the best hobby I've ever uh, taken upon myself. It's just absolutely fun, uh, exciting, and you once you go to fresh roast, you will be completely... Uh, enveloped you might even become a, a little bit addicted uh, uh so that's it for now till next vid thanks for tuning in uh you can check check us out on uh facebook page fedora coffee works page uh posting some stuff on there as well cheers for now thank you